How's it going everyone? Justin with Justin Time 3D Prints bringing you a little short video today. It won't be very long. Um, I haven't seen a video covering this. I'm sure I'm wrong, but I haven't seen one so I'm going to make one of my own. <clears throat> I recently purchased two different MakerBots. I have the MakerBot Replicator Mini and the MakerBot Replicator Z18. So both of them had the regular Smart Extruder, so I went ahead and bought the Smart Extruder Pluses. I'm going to be running some proto pastas, some glow in the dark, some very abrasive stuff through these. So I decided to go ahead and partner up with one of my friends over at Micro Swiss. We've been in touch and done projects together before, so I figured I'd contact them and tell them what's going on. So get home today, and I got me a little goodie bag of different nozzles. So we will start with, I got the three millimeter, I have the four millimeter, I have their six millimeter, and then I just got their new eight millimeter. So for the mini, mini I'm going to go ahead and do the three millimeter nozzle because I'm going to be doing some fine detailed stuff. For the other, I'm, for the Z18, I'm going to go ahead with the six not the 8 yet. I'm going to start with the 6 and see how it is, but I just wanted to cover a quick video on how to do it. Um, these heads um, inside the extruder, they do move around, so I wanted to show you the proper way to do it so you don't break anything. Uh, here we go. We'll start with the Mini. This will actually be an unboxing as well. So you open up the box. Nice little box. Oh, it's actually a magnet. Hmm. So you open it up. Um, up here some paperwork. I'm not going to get into that. Um, just videos about this. So, got this little piece of tape here that keeps that on. Alright, so what I got for this is a, what is this? 9, 932. 932th. I can't say the words correctly for some reason tonight, but I got this and then I have a pair of pliers. So what you're going to want to do is grab the, actually, this pops off. So you'd want to pop this off to get some extra space. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is take your pliers and grab both sides of the heater block. And once you've done that, I'm going to switch hands. Let's see if I can get this on the camera good. Grab both sides of the heater block very good. And just take this and lefty loosey, righty tighty. Ooh, it slipped a little bit. Oh, it was actually on that kind of tight. And then once you get it popped loose, you just by hand take it off. I'm just going to keep holding and go ahead and get the three millimeter nozzle out. It comes with a standard four millimeter nozzle but I'm going to go ahead and go down to the smaller one since I'm going to be doing some finer stuff. Take the micro swiss um, nozzle and slowly just feed it on. If I can feed it on properly. There we go. Tighten it by hand, then take your other tool and tighten it down. Don't tighten it too, too, too crazy much till you get some resistance. And there's that one. With this one, go ahead and snap the cover back on. Um, I don't know the purpose of that yet because I just got this, but I always keep these nozzles held separately just in case I ever need them again so I'll put them back in here. Um, so that's that one. So let's go ahead and put that one away. And I do know that the one for the Z18 is a little bit different um, as far as the look of it. Same style box, same paperwork, same stuff. So this is the difference. It comes with this right here. This is a filament guide and it does not have that piece down here. Besides from that, it should be about the same. So go ahead and just grab it. Oh, 
Oh wow, that came off easy. And so we're going with a six on this one. But for that same thing, just turn it by hand. Once you get it tightened by hand, turn this the right way. Just give it a little bit of extra. And there you have it. Um, as I said, very easy, easy, simple video today. I just wanted to show you how to do that. I know most people know, but I know there is people that do not. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, tell me I did something wrong. <laughs> go ahead and leave it below in the comments and you know if, if you like little videos like this there will be more a lot more especially about the MakerBot stuff um, as I said I just got two new printers just subscribe um, like comment subscribe uh, if you have any questions like I said please let me know thank you